Good evening, Wrightsville. Donna Pinckney coming to you with this evening's evening devotion. For the Thursdays in August, we're going to be taking the opportunity to teach you about some new prayer practices. They're not new at all, and some of you may already be practicing them. But for some folks, this will be a new opportunity to learn about a prayer practice, and so each week will be a different practice. We hope that you'll find them meaningful. We hope that you'll um, enjoy them. And so we've made a um, graphic for each of these, and you'll find it each week posted on the Facebook page along with the video. So look forward to a new prayer practice each Thursday. This Thursday is the practice of breath prayer. And so I'm going to just share a little bit about what that is. Each breath is a reminder of the breath of God in us. And breath prayer is simple, super simple. They're just meditations that can silence us enough to hear God's voice and feel God's presence. We don't seek to be perfect. We don't pretend that we're not busy and constantly pulled away. Part of what makes this prayer practice so powerful is its honesty. So on the inhale, you can draw on your chosen name for God, and it can be as long or as short as your breath will allow. The exhale is something you want to release to God. So this might be a request like, have mercy on us, or an offering like, I give my life to you, or maybe it's a statement of thanksgiving, like you are worthy of praise. Prayer can be unique. It can be structured, unstructured. You can say your breath prayer for a day, a week, a season. It can be something that comes to you naturally when you're in a quiet place. It may come to you when you're driving, when you're doing the dishes, when you're exercising. We want it to be something that's meaningful to you personally and something that you're gonna feel great um, joy in being able to pray. So here's a couple of examples like, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Or, Heavenly Creator, make me new today. You are the potter. I am the clay. That's simple. That's simple. We invite you to think about that, to find a prayer that's meaningful to you. We hope we'll find that you'll find this practice meaningful in your personal prayer life. And we look forward to bringing you another prayer practice next Thursday. Until then, have a great evening, Wright School. We love you. God bless.